Hi, welcome back to part two of the nut, bolt, and washer model. Uh, again, we're working with that M10 nut, bolt, and washer. Um, today, we are going to look at creating the bolt part of this uh, three part assembly. So, to create the bolt again, um, the same as the last video, which I'll link in at the top, um, I have been onto the internet, found out a lot of data, data information about uh, bolt assemblies, bolt information, sizes, uh, pitch and threads and things like that, um, which has enabled me to be able to get all the inform I need, information I need to create this model. So let's have a look at how we go through modeling um, the bolt. So first of all, I'm going to create the head of the bolt, which is going to be the same as we created that nut. So I'm going to pick a plane to create to draw on. I'm going to sketch on that plane and I'm going to create a polygon the same way. Lock it into the origin and I'm going to get the highest point vertically online with that origin. And then I'm going to click on and click on the top point, hold control, click on the origin, and I'm going to create that vertical relationship between the two. From there, I can put in the size, and the size across from side to side on this size of bolt is 17 millimeters. Okay, um, from there, I'm not going to put a hole in this one because this is the bolt and not the what. Uh, this is the bolt and not the nut. So from there, I'm just going to extrude that out, uh, and that's going to come out to six point four millimeters. Okay, now once we've got that on one side of this bolt head, I am going to chamfer off the edges, and the other side, I'm going to put the step on. So I'll show you how we do that. So on one side, I'm going to sketch and I'm going to make it normal to that side so that I can see what I'm doing. And it's easier to model if we're always straight on with or normal to the side in which we are modeling on. So sketch on, create a circle out to the outer edge. And I'm going to dimension that up just to fully define the sketch. Okay, uh, from there, I'm going to go into features and I'm going to cut extrude. Now, the same as we did with the nut, I'm going to chamfer off them edges using the cut extrude tool. So, use the draft on the cut extrude tool and I'm going to cut outside of that circle. So, flip side to cut and take that and it'll just take them edges off. Okay, now on the other side, I'm going to put the step in for a bolt. So I'm going to click on the other side again, go normal to, and I am going to sketch on that side just a circle from the center. Let's go to the same position out to the edge as well again on that side, and dimension that up to fully define it. With this now, rather than cutting off the corners, I'm actually going to extrude this out. So features, extrude, I'm going to come out one mil. And just do that. So I've got my little step on the outside edge of there. Okay. And in the face of that then, I'm now going to extrude. Go a normal two. And I'm going to extrude a circle out of the center there. So click on there, get it wider. And now this is going to be the diameter of my bolt. And it's an M10 bolt, so it's going to be 10 mil wide. Okay. And then I'm going to extrude that out. Now, the length in which we extrude this out is not really going to matter because we can get multiple sizes of bolt lengths. Um, for the sake of this, so it looks around a nice size, we're going to go for a 40 mil extrusion. Okay, and I'm going to take that. Now we've got that generic shape, so that shape of that bolt. However, we need to put the rest of the detail on. For instance, the chamfer on the edge here and the thread along the shaft of the bolt. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a chamfer on the edge of this bolt. So I'm going to click the end there, and I'm going to come up to the fillet tool, drop it down, and I've got chamfer underneath. And I'm just going to put a one milli chamfer on it. It's already designated there as a one milli chamfer. Just make sure I'm happy with that. 
we can see the preview as long as the full preview is ticked here and you can see it's creating a nice chamfer on the edge of there so i'm just going to tick that and we get a nice chamfer on the edge with that then the last step to this is to create the thread so the thread is going to go along the length of the shaft and i'm going to go the whole length to this step so come to the whole wizard drop down the options underneath and i'm going to click thread okay and at that point i'm going to click the outside edge of this shaft not the bottom bit of the chamfer the outside edge here is highlighted okay and i'm going to make sure i've got the same thread pitch selected as what i have on my nut so this is an m10 1.5 and we're going to make sure because we're going down a shaft we're actually selecting a metric die okay dies cut down shafts taps cut through holes so we always want a die for a shaft uh, again we need to set an offset so we're going to create an offset here now in this case um, uh, what i would be looking at normally is a 1.5 milli offset and you can see that there and if i was to show that's on here if i was to show that on here then you would um see i'll just change this to blind so you can see um you would see that 1.5 milli offset will offset into the actual model however we want it to come outside of the model so i'm going to click outside of the model there now the issue with this is because i have a shaft uh, sorry because i have the chamfer on it's still going to cut into a not complete thread out to the edge um, so it give me a little groove i'll show you that as an example so you can actually see take care and it doesn't actually complete the thread so to complete the thread i'm just going to edit that again I'm going to change my offset so i'm going to make that offset bigger so one instead of 1.5 i'm going to go to three okay now this thread is only going to go so far up the shaft what i want is to make sure it goes all the way up to this point here up to this face so i'm going to rather than be blind i'm going to go up to selected and i'm going to select this face here and it will take the thread all the way along the shaft up to that point now I've got that, you can see the threads all the way on there as a preview. Let's tick and we can just double check it's how we want it to look. So we've got the finishing of the thread comes smoothly out to the edge and it runs all the way up to the end of this, uh, to the head of the bolt, which is perfect. Okay, so that's tutorial part two um, of modeling the nut bolt and the washer. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope that was useful to you. And please subscribe if you like what you're watching. Um, uh, and hopefully I can give you some more tips around SolidWorks. Hopefully see you soon. Thank you very much.